The most difficult part of the assembly of the minicopter is putting together the hub because the parts are small and fragile. Let me go over the, the hub pieces with you. Um, here on the plywood sheet we have the main hub right here. And what is critical are these little corners right here where along the edge of the perimeter. And these bumps on the outside are to protect those as much as possible to keep them from breaking off because it wants this little piece right here wants to break off right there. So we want to that's the piece that we want to protect as much as possible. Um, these pieces right here are the hinge arms. This piece right here it goes on the hub um, above the main hub. I don't know if you can see that, but this that piece is right here. And what it does is it separates the rubber bands and allows this to rotate upwards. Let's see if I can show it to you. See how it rotates upwards? Well, sometimes these rubber bands right here will get in the way. And I, would, I needed to keep the rubber bands from going too far along the shaft here in the middle. And then the small piece right here goes above that piece there to keep the rubber bands from going too far, getting too close to the bottom of the nose cone. So when the nose cone or when the blades flip up, I don't want these rubber bands to get under here because the distance here could allow the, uh, the rubber bands to rub on the base of the nose cone and that's going to prevent it from spinning as, as easily as it can. Uh, this piece right here with, with the four holes and the two little, little holes here in the center goes on the base of the graphite shaft and it acts as a little plunger to push all the shock cord into the rocket. And then finally these other big discs right here, they actually go inside the nose cone and center up the shaft inside the nose cone so everything is nice and concentric. So that's going to fall. <laughs> Just let it fall, that's fine. Okay, so we want to remove this piece right here, but before we do, let's mark this as the top side. Remember, that if you can see the numbers here, the part number on the plywood, that's the top. So I'm going to put a little T here for top. That's the part that's going to go towards the base of the nose cone. To remove that, um, I want to be very gentle with this. I want to cut right here at the little tick marks, and all the tick marks are at the end of the, these little nubs. And if you flip it over, you can see them a little better here on the back side. So there's one there. I'm going to cut right there. And then I'm going to cut right here. And then it should pop right out. And I also want to take out the, the center hole. And you can pop that out just with the point of the, the hobby knife. Okay, so this is my T, so that means top. Okay. And we're also going to want to take out this hole here, this disc that's going to go on the shaft, and one of these two little holes. And I gave you an extra one just in case you lose one because they have a tendency to go on off, off the table and onto the floor. And I'm just going to use a piece of um, music wire. And this is a thick piece of music wire, and it helps to push all those little holes out just like that. So those little pieces right here. And then I want to find the aluminum tube. And there's two sizes. There's a thicker one and a thinner one. And right now we want the thick one. And I want to cut this so that it's 3 quarters of an inch, inch long. So here on my ruler you can see 1 inch right there. And I'm going to cut right here at three quarters of an inch. Now don't lose this other piece. We're going to use it. So to cut it, I'm just going to slide my the tube back and forth along the table. And I don't want to go all the way around. I just want to go partially until I can feel it going in. And it's because it's aluminum, it cuts rather easily. Okay, now I need to square up those ends on both pieces, the, the short piece and the long piece. And I've got some 220 grit sandpaper here. I'm just going to do a circular motion. And 
both pieces. And I'm rolling this between my fingers to uh, make it a little easier. Okay, now I'm going to switch to some really fine grit sandpaper. I had a piece of 600 grit here on the table. It fell on the floor. Okay, so I want to I want to take the uh, the rod and spin it between my fingers as I'm pressing down on the table. And I'm and, and dragging it at the same time because I want that as smooth as possible because these are going to be touching each other, going to be spinning on each other. So that means they're a bearing surface. And whenever you have a bearing surface, you want them nice and smooth and it reduces the friction. So they'll spin faster and so our, our helicopter will spin faster. So that's one piece. That's the second piece. Okay, now I want to I want to kind of rotate on the on the edge to break the burr off. If there's a burr on the outside of the tube. Okay. Finally, I want to take the point of my hobby knife and I want to clean out the inside. So I'm going to take my fingers again and roll it as I'm spinning it on the blade. Notice how I'm holding the blade with my fingers here kind of support it. So now I'm cleaning out the inside. I want to do both sides and both pieces. my graphite shaft out of the kit parts. I want to put the long piece on it and just spin it around, make sure it spins nice and freely. Before I blow, I'm going to pick up all the small pieces so I don't blow them off the table. <laughs> Been there, done that, right? Okay, now the long piece right here, I want to take a piece of uh, sandpaper and I want to scuff up the middle part because we're going to glue onto this. And the glue, because the tube is so shiny, and smooth, the glue has a hard time sticking to it. So I'm scuffing it up because we're going to glue these pieces on it here in a minute. Okay, just the big, the long piece right here. Now on the, this disc, these two small discs, I want to fit those onto the tube and just make sure that they fit and then pull them off because we're going to be putting them on later. and. I don't want to break the hub piece, which is this piece right here. I don't want to break that um, getting these on because they are tight holes. Okay. So I'm going to pause here and then we're going to start assembling this hub.